state right now. I major in psychology and minor in philosophy. My first piece of advice, it's kind of broken into two different pieces, but basically get to know your classmates and your professors. To start getting to know your classmates, even just saying hi or starting conversations with the people next to you. These are people that you can potentially reach out to to study, make group chats for if you have questions about assignments. Plus, this is a great way to make friends coming to college. So getting to know your professors, uh, this is really important because they're going to be the people who have control over your grade. Uh, they'll be the ones who write letters of recommendations. Uh, they can give you internship ideas uh, for when you're in your upper class levels but basically like just how to do that is a lot of the times I will try to participate in class if, if they're asking for volunteers raising my hand and being willing to do that that's how they'll start to recognize your face um, even if I have a question I'll you can ask it in class or if you're more comfortable you can ask before or after class meeting up in their office hours and getting to know them um, on that level it doesn't necessarily have to be like go sit down and have a conversation with them for 30 minutes but just like swinging by and asking a question or putting your face out there basically so that they'll recognize you <laughs> Office hours are typically listed in your syllabus. Um, they'll be, it's usually at the top of it. It'll be like their email, when their office hours are and where their office is. If you, for some reason, can't find that, even just uh, looking up their name on Iowa State's faculty website or a faculty page within the department website, um, their emails are usually listed there. So you can shoot an email, say, hey, I'm looking to come in for a question. Uh, when are your office hours or where can I find your office hours? For office hours, you can pretty much drop in and say hello or ask your question. Um, but a lot of the times I like to shoot them an email just to be like, hey, I'm planning on coming into office hours uh, on this day. Does that work for you? Just to make sure that they don't have a meeting already scheduled or just so they're, if for some reason they have something come up, that way I don't go all the way across campus and then find out that they're not there. And then that's just another way that they can start to recognize your name and your face and get to know you. Uh, one of the things that I did when I was a freshman is I printed off all of my syllabi and I still do this actually it's not just like my first semester I did this I use it to as like an organizational tip I print all of my syllabi I put it in my, my folders for that section that way if I ever need to do a quick check it's just quick find it's right there I don't have to sift through all of my emails I don't have to go through canvas and figure out okay where do I find it um, I just have it right there and then I use my syllabi to at the beginning of the semester I have all my syllabi out and I write out all of the big assignments and I color code my classes so that in my planner I can look at my monthly calendar and be like oh I have a paper due on Thursday the 18th for my counseling class I know that just by reading it uh, and seeing that it's purple. Um, it really gives me a good glimpse at what my month will be like and then even breaking it down further you can do the weekly planners as well. If you're anything like me I really like to just have a plan. It's totally okay to change it up in the future. Uh, it's not set in stone but it's kind of nice to just have like the next couple semesters planned out for me or like a map of what it might look like. Some of my favorite classes that I think would be good for your first or second semester in college. It'll be good to get your gen eds out of the way, kind of get a feel for what's going on and uh, that way you're not diving head first taking three psychology classes at once um, and overwhelming yourself. Psych 101 is going to be one that you're going to have to start with. Uh, it's a really interesting class just because you get a brief overview of pretty much everything psychology. But other than that, like other classes to consider would be Psych 280, which is the social, social psychology lecture. It's really 
I found it really interesting and when I took the class there were two professors that taught it, Dr. Gary Wells and then Dr. Robert Hustling. They're both phenomenal teachers. They both do a really great job at explaining the concepts. Um, if you're engaged in the material, it'll make it a lot easier on you when you go to study for the exams. And Dr. Wells and Dr. Hustling do a good job at making the class exciting for you to want to be there. Another good class to take in your first semester of college is any foreign language classes. Whether it's a 101 class or if you're able to test into a higher subject, I think it's a really nice class to be able to take. That way you can have something outside of your major. It exposes you to other people on campus that you maybe wouldn't encounter without that class. And it's kind of, um, it just gives you a different view, I guess, and you can tailor it to take whatever, whatever language you want to take. And then I think that's also nice because then it offers an opportunity for if you do want to study abroad, then it gives you a few more country options because then you will potentially be able to speak the language a little bit better. And then another good class is any of the dance classes or just like classes that you don't necessarily have to be a major to take that class. Like I took ballet with one of my friends who's an engineering major and we wouldn't normally get to take classes together, but that gave us the opportunity to be able to see each other. And it's another one of those classes where it's like, it opens you up to more people that you wouldn't necessarily encounter in your major classes. <music> Another really great thing that you can do when going to college is Iowa State actually has an app. It's called My State and it gives you access to the bus lines, um, seeing what time they're gonna be at what stop. And then you can also look at the dining halls and see what hours they're open, what's on the menu for the day, help you decide if you wanna walk across campus or not. And then there's also a way that you can download your classes into the app so that you can see where they are at in your schedule and it's just a nice little quick check there's lots of stuff in it but another couple of great things that it has is it has a map where you can look up all of the buildings on campus and then it shows uh the testing centers and show you which ones have the shortest lines just like a general rule of thumb for going to college, whether it's at Iowa State or whether you're in a different major um, than psychology, just really know that you will have the opportunity to shape your experience. I know Iowa State does a really good job of opening up a lot of clubs and trying to promote it and make it available to the students and really give them the resources to be able to curate their experience at college and yeah i think that freedom and that independence is really nice yeah so good luck uh i hope we see you on campus in the fall uh yeah see you around <laughs>